We move now to the case of Chun Guangchun, the blind Chinese dissident at the center of that month-long diplomatic crisis. He is bound for the U.S. this morning. Chun spent years in house arrest in Beijing, escaped to the U.S. Embassy, you know, and later asked to be allowed to come to America. And now it looks like that is indeed happening. Sky News correspondent Holly Williams is in Beijing. Holly, good morning to you. What's the latest? Well, Chen Guangcheng, his wife and two children left China just a few hours uh, after they were notified that they would be allowed to leave. I spoke to Mr. Chen by telephone as he was waiting to board his flight. He said that they'd been informed by the staff at the Beijing hospital where he's been getting treatment uh, for the last couple of weeks. And when he and his family arrived at Beijing airport, they were given their long-awaited passports, not by Chinese officials, but by U.S. diplomats. And what this all means, of course, is that Mr. Chen is now free to start a new life studying law in New York City. Holly, uh, you said you spoke to him. What else did he say? Was he concerned about uh, family members who are still going to be staying in China? Well, to quote him directly, uh, Mr. Chen said that he was filled uh, with thousands of mixed emotions that he just couldn't express. Uh, he told me that he is very worried about the family members that he's leaving behind. We understand that some of them are under house detention and that one of them uh, has been arrested. He also reiterated something that he has said time and time again. He said he is not seeking political asylum. He doesn't plan on staying in the U.S. in the long term and that he hopes that one day he he will be allowed to return to China. Any indication right now how long he does stay here? I think that's an interesting question, and it's going to come down to whether the Chinese authorities uh, are tolerant enough to allow a political dissident who has embarrassed and angered them uh, to come back to China. Holly Williams of Sky News, thank you so much.